and it will. Because how's that final lane going? Top lane, Pure and Fishman against Chalice and Kaka. Specifically, probably the slowest lane of the map right now. Like, you've got an unborn. In fact, oh. I say that, but they are going to land a very nice Fisher here onto Pure. Body blocks out as well. Chalice! Able to find a perfect block and, and actually apologies to the side of entry for the cast to curse there. John, I did say it was the most boring lane. Apparently not. Trying to annoy perhaps the Lycan. John was the most farmed here on the map right now. Just very confidently moving across. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Toby. Still being harassed out by Exnova, but here comes the turnaround from Kataomi and Toby. They'll just work together onto the Lich with the Frost Shield. It's just so much damage reduction. They'll move into the Avalanche. They will find the TB. Where it goes. The Fisher is there, Toby. He is going to drop. It's not a good trade whatsoever. I mean, you've got Exnova, but you lose your pulse free Brumas. It's just not great. You're also dropping to Chalice. Do of course add a cliff here on the bottom side. Toby will just get to work, and you've got the familiars there, so it's not going to take too long to get this tier 1 tower down. But again, X, rather, Chalice has already pushed that top tier 1 for an even trade. Back bottom lane, who have they got? It's going to be Kaka on the Earthshaker. He does get picked off here by Kataomi. Does end up going down very easily. It's, it's not the biggest kill in the world. It does still open up this bot tower push, although down the mid. And we've got Fishman. Stun will land. They'll find the AA. A decent trade by either side. Trading supports. 2k advantage now for RNG. Entity. I mean, they've got this timing throughout the midfield of Malice. Stormstormer with some very good micro. And now Kataomi from the backside with a nice avalanche into the ice blast onto Chalice. But where's your follow up damage? It's not there yet. They'll chase down Somnus on the left track, but he's going to be just fine. In fact, Kaka, he's coming in from the backside. But who are they aiming? Kaka in trouble. Is going to drop on the Earthshaker. Is X Nova now? Is completely surrounded and will also go down. In fact, Chalice still trying to tank up, but they're off to Somnus. Somnus, he's a giga chat. He might be able to fight back, but not quite. They've got so much damage. In fact, even Ghost showing up at the last seconds of the team fight needs to back his way out. And he will. Oh, he may have saved the day, but Somnus is still dropping. May eventually go down as Toby. He's trying to get the work done, but where's the damage output? Somnus, he's going to survive on the left track. They don't have enough to finish the job off. Somnus, how does he walk out of it? He's alive. It's Kataomi. He's the one to drop. Chalice, he makes it just in the nick of time, and they keep going for more now. Fishman, also being, being caught out on the AA, he is going to go down. It's it's just that timing out from Chalice and the great use of Somnus with that bloodstone. Like you just can't kill him. He's just it's not gonna be that easy to take him down with the Aegis up. Meanwhile on the backside, entity on the other side of things in the radiant jungle hanging around. Sending Toby's remnants in. Oh. In they go. Kataomi is there with the avalanche and the toss-up. Somnus, he'll get the BKB up in time. Still perfectly healthy, but is he really? The Millie's... Oh, boy, he's down. Kaka, he tried to go for the Echo Slam, but it does not help in the end, and he's dropped as well. There's just so much damage now flying out from Entity. So they've got the Chain Frost down onto the Underlord. That's going to be another, as Chalice just cannot get away. They just melt. That was really split up from RNG and Entity were in a really good spot, just holding that high ground very well, in very patient. River area, trying to make their way over to that Radiant Triangle. Ghost is going to show himself. Fisher is committed, just on the familiars, trying to burst them down, but Ghost, he does get caught out. Ice Blast and a big avalanche is out. Kataomi setting up perfectly. Chalice is in big trouble here on the Underlord. He might just drop and does. Meanwhile, X Nova getting chased down, but will be left alone, so instead they'll go after Kaka on the Earthshaker. That'll be another as Ghost now. It's completely surrounded. How does he survive this one? It doesn't seem like he can, though. Chalice does try to move him, but it's not in time. They are falling like flies here, the side of RNG. As Entity, they will just keep moving forward. Somnus still trying to fight. Does go man up against Pure. In fact, that's a lot of damage from Somnus. He's got one down and another. He's found Pure on the Lycan. Somehow RNG still managed to find a way to fight back, and it's off the back of Somnus. Yeah, they did. Gonna move in as the, the vision of the Camillus, as well as the Wolves coming up from Pure. They're gonna find Ghost. On the TB, and they will slowly start to move in. Ghost kind of surrounded here. Does get tornadoed up. Pure, he'll pop the wolf orb. Who are they going to target down first? On the top side, they found X Nova. They found Kaka. Both supports in trouble. X Nova already got it. Now Kaka just drops to the damage of Pure. It's just so much damage as Somnus needs to back out. The BKB is wearing off. He does get nullified. Ghost, he's going to try and mad fight through this, but can he really do it? It seems like he'll try. Toby will back out. They will lose Fishman, however. 
That's the AA down. That's at least one down for the side of RNG, but Entity, they do buy back. In fact, RNG, they will not stick around. Somnus does get the Primal Spit off as now Ghost will be targeted here with the toss back of Kataomi, but Ghost is still fine. He will get four stuffed out of there. Meanwhile, Hexnova being chased down by the units of Pure. In the backside, though, they've got an Echo Slam. They've got the Sunder. Pure being gazed off. Can they get some revenge here? They cannot. He is still just fine. Chalice is the one to go down with the Underlord, but Ghost still trying to man up, still trying to fight against Toby. Toby will force stuff away. Where's the team fight? Entity, it seems like they're out once again. They'll find a couple, they'll get the buyback out from Chalice, and that's going to be enough for them. They're going to counter smoke. This could be the big team fight we've been waiting for as Entity. They've got so many ways of scouting out. Not so much through this smoke, but now that the smoke is broken on a couple, who have they found? It's going to be Stormstormer. The pit of to lock him down. The fish is there to follow up, and in comes Kataomi and X Nova. He just gets deleted by the support tiny as he keeps moving forward. Ghost, who do we go for? Stormstormer, he's the target. They finally find the fish or maybe oh. not Stormstormer. He's still running, but X Nova, he's trying to get the job done himself, and eventually Ghost will find it. Two down. Entity. They've lost a couple here, and it seems like RNG have finally cracked an opening open for themselves as Kark finds the back his way out. And again, it's still a very slow game. Like, you you are still behind as RNG. Sure, your one rack's up now, but you could lose one team fight, and the game could just snowball back the other way. Though I say that, Pure does get caught oh. out. He's the biggest target. The gaze is going to lock him down, drag him out. The Kataomi, he's got the tie back on the lid. So X Nova, he's down back. 80 seconds in goes pure with the wolf form but he needs to run away his car car looking for the chase waiting for the bkb but now the fisher oh, is gonna lock him down somnus should have the damage and will eventually get it out pure's down for 100 but he does have buyback he can come back in he's not gonna have the wolf form and kaka again g spark having to pop the bkb on ghost to just try and find something in the middle and entity they don't find anything for their trouble either. So we're, we're stuck in a bit of a deadlock here, Mike. Yeah. Probably the longest game of the day already. 65 minutes in, 66 oh. minutes in for day one. Ooh. And there goes X Nova. Yeah, he's not going to last long against a support tiny, but in comes Ghost, trying to punish, but he cannot. In fact, now Ghost, he's the one turned off. That's a bad position. Somnus, he shot oh. them though, with a massive split up, and now Chalice, he's there with the Pit of Malice as well. Trying to burst them down, the familiar is the Fissage. He's in big trouble. Karkas out with the Echo Slam. Maybe they've got it up and they do. Stormstorm has got it. Somnus, it will drop as well. Off the Toby. The Aeon Disc is going to proc into the Primal Split. They go. X Nova. He fought back into the team fight. He'll back in. This is the SCATI. Oh. I'm sure we can make it happen. I Any mean, server that makes it happen is probably on. To be fair, I've seen, I've seen my own share of mid -liches. Top lane. Interesting. Certainly is. Look at that damage from that tree body just bursting down 2.3k. Damages now, they make the jump in, Somnus in trouble, and they toss him, they burst him down, just so quickly, Pure, he has the damage, Stormstormer, trying to back his way out, but now it's Ghost that's in trouble, and they surround him, Pure, he's looking for more on the backside, he's found Karka on the Earthshaker, no four stuff away this time through the nullify, but Chalice, trying to buy a bit of time, but Karka's gone, Pure, going for more now, Somnus, keep in mind, he has no buyback available for this fight, where's Ghost, all by himself, still trying, hit a malice, Ghost, trying to move him, this is there, with the side device to get started, hit a malice, Ghost, trying to move him, with the tree volley damage, you've got to be wary, but he has the Sunder, he'll reset, back in onto the fish as they go, Stormstormer, is going to be able to back his way out, now with the, with the BKB ghost, he's gonna be so careful. It's in the backside. Chalice is gone on the underlord. Kaka, he'll go for a fish and try and hold them back, but they can't control this tiny. He's in that wolf form. In goes pure as well. The echo slam, it literally does no damage. That's, that's a big win for Entity. They managed to force the buyback out from Chalice. RNG is still doing a fantastic job of defending in this game. Hot lane, Toby, and he gets spotted out though, Kaka, he's the one getting jumped here on the Earthshaker, but he does have the Aeon Disc, meanwhile from the backside, Kataomi, he's got that tree volley in X Nova, he's gonna go down, but the immediate buyback is there as Ghost now, man's up against Pure, it's a lot of damage onto that Lycan, but he backs his way out, as another Hex is out, Ghost is in big trouble, the Ice Blast will connect and he is gone, but he does have buyback. 
they, they've still got the options here on RNG. Not gonna immediately pop that buyback. Entity, this is their opening. They, oh no, they're ending. They're ending. Oh, no, they are ending. Oh, they're going for the ancient. RNG's RNG's gonna gonna get away with it. They go. RNG, can they get it done? The clip is there. They are moving back to rotate back in. This could be the play of the century is RNG. They're trying. X Nova in big trouble. The pure should drop. Meanwhile, Somnus still the going in the meantime because he's had enough. He's popping his BKBs right after the ancient. He goes. Oh, he he couldn't sunder. He couldn't sunder. Oh, he couldn't sunder. They are not going to be able to end. Oh, what man. in the hell? Oh, the bot racks they go, Entity. And they are, they are really trying to get this racks finally down, but Ghost has respawned. They do at least find the range racks. Ghost has bought it, that's when they're going. Oh, they're going to the again. Fire Angel once again. He's got the cool. rotations. They're going to try it, but Ghost, he's got the terror wave. They're just going to man up through this. The Echo's not being committed. RNG, have they gone too far? Or are they going to be able to make it? It doesn't seem like it. They are going to drop. Once again, they will go down. They've got buybacks available, though. Oh, this enough. in goes pure though on to X Nova. The Fisher was not there in time to block him off. X Nova still actually being left alone here by Pure. Instead, he sees Chalice on the Underlord who abyssal blade him up. Chalice in huge trouble, should drop surely eventually. He is surrounded and will go down. No buyback available on the Underlord. It's X Nova, he's gonna go down to the ice blast of Fishman. Will buy back immediately. Chalice, he needs another minute to be able to buy back into this game. They don't have tier force to rip through here, Mike. Yeah. The ancient is exposed. It certainly is. They just need to keep that creep wave alive somehow. It certainly is. They've got the fiend's gate available if they wanted to try and abuse it. Parker, Micro Fisher gonna miss. Somnus, he's right in as well. In fact, it's Ghost that we need to watch right now on this TV. They've got to buy down. That's two divine from the deck. Is this the turning point now? Is they found another? It's gonna be the Aegis down on the Visage. He'll respawn very, very soon. Toby, he's still got no buyback. They're back up to Storm Stormer. They might just have him, and it seems like they do. He is gonna drop, but he does have buyback. Oh, this is just they're still going. Fishman, he's gonna drop a second time, but pure. He's gonna be right to back his way out as Katahomi now getting oh. caught out. On the no. tiny, he might drop to Boo. And he does. Pure, he does move back in. Chalice is gonna drop. That's two down with that buyback for the side of RNG. How do they do it now? Well, I mean they're, they're despite that win, because under cooldown. And despite that win. Because of the Mega Creeps, RNG are still stuck here. So they're gonna need to repeat that process again, Mike. Here we they go. need to knock him out one more they're time. Gonna get started. They've got Ghost with a toss back. The TB official blade is out. Oh. He's gonna go down. He's got buyback. He'll commit immediately. It's gonna be a 4v3 situation. RNG are being trouble. As Somnus dropping low. Pops the block zone. Tries to rub it. It's not gonna make it out. He'll buy back as well. This could be the opening though. Entity needed. If they can go on to those T4 towers. They've got the Mega Creeps incoming. Ghost, he's gonna find a way to fight. Kaka. He's in with the Echo Slam, and the Fisher locks them down. Tear away Villa oh. with the Wolf Form. It allows them to just keep running as Kanaumi still trying, trying to fight back. Storm Stormer, Tree Volley, everything through thrown at Ghost, but it's going to be oh. enough. The tieback is there. RNG are in huge trouble now. It's a 2v4 situation. Surely there is no way to defend this. Those Somnus will try one last time, but it's over. Or is it? Uh, they paused the game at a very awkward time. Fisher's out, it's all over oh though, the big creeps are out of the ancient. GD is called eventually, Entity barely managed to do it. 107 minutes in, I, I don't know what else to say here, John. Oh, that, that's just insane, I don't think, the longest game in the main stage ever. And, my god, Entity, what, what an amazing game they played, but props to RNG as well, they held on.